So since no sane person uh, writes error checking like this, you can usually just remove all these things. Right? And then just reverse it. Go to error, you know, or do whatever you want there. So if the malloc returns null, it's gonna go to error, do some cleanup stuff or something. But if you want to make sure that, or if you want to reverse this, because uh, you should not care about the performance for when malloc fails because at that point you know something happens something bad happens so if you want to reverse it to this so like um, just like before I guess so like you only execute the things that you want to execute after or if the malloc succeeds uh, you know instead of doing nesting like this and then like uh, else if, if you want to uh, do that but simpler you can instead just use this uh, Okay, we put back the negations for GCC and Clang. You have this thing um, built in expect. Built in expect. I don't even remember it, but I usually just use the macro. I just use this macro so. If you're uh, if you're using the C file and compiling it with GCC or Clang, and it has built-in expect, I guess you can also. Or I know that right thing may be specific to Clang, but if uh, if you can use built-in expect, it's going to use built-in expect. If not it's gonna do nothing so it's portable but if you uh, use this unlikely right it's it's gonna tell the compiler that this is the unlikely condition so it's it would be as if you write this on the you put it in the else case so it would it would probably be something like this. Uh, if well, you know, it's 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 like uh, it's gonna reverse it so that it it's gonna check if malloc returns not null, and then it's gonna execute these things. But it's uh, much readable. Granted, at the cost of uh, you having to use unlikely, which may clutter things a bit, but if you want to make sure that you're not uh, checking for null pointer malloc and then like going to the else case, which may be a bit slower than doing this or uh, doing nested the ifs, then you, you can use this. But it, mm, if you repeatedly or like if we're checking malloc here, probably the compiler will know that you're checking the null pointer and maybe it can automatically move it to the else case. So you probably don't need it since even GCC and Clang uh, recommends using negation for checking null pointer of malloc. So in this case, maybe the compiler will already know beforehand, but it probably won't know, at least not for the first time you execute 
something that uh, it's the rare case. So like, I don't know, if you make a if you make a specific function or use a library function, I guess, and then you check for null, you can you can use unlikely and then uh, pointer pointer is null and then go to error or something and then that will just reverse it because maybe maybe you want things to go as fast as possible so y you can do that so it's a nice thing and yeah you, you can say it's it's gonna clutter things a bit but uh, if you if you ever want to put something in the else case without having uh, if else nested ifs or like I I I've done this actually I've done uh, if no, no, no if uh, if malloc uh, does not fail do nothing and then else go to error which uh, that's that's really ugly and you probably shouldn't do it and it's probably error prone and then you know <laughs> uh, instead of that uh, you should do uh, uh, you you should use the unlikely macro uh, but for the likely I mean I don't see much I think unlikely is more you're gonna get more use of the unlikely if if you d should you decide to use it at all but uh, yeah there's uh, it's, it's, it's it's a nice thing it's a nice compiler thing and if you don't even use GCC or Clang for some reason it's not going to affect anything it's going to uh, it's probably just going to parenthesize maybe but you know it's it's going to be compatible with all compilers which is nice so yeah if you ever want to do that you can do that so yeah hope this helps probably uh, you, you I don't know I just use it because you know why why not it's a feature